The Qur'an, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Chapter 67 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Blessed be he in whose hand is the dominion, and he is powerful over all things, who created life and death, that he might try you, which of you be best indeed. And he is the mighty the forgiving, who created seven heavens in layers. Thou seest no disharmony in the creation of the Almighty. So look thou again, seest thou any rifts? Then look thou again, thy sight will return to thee weak and fatigued. And we have adorned the lower sky with lamps, and made them what is thrown at the shaitans, and prepared for them the punishment of the inferno. And for those who reject their Lord is the punishment of hell, and evil is the journey's end. When they are cast therein, they hear its wailing, and it boils up, almost bursting with rage. Whenever a host is cast therein, the keepers thereof ask them, Came there not to you a warner? They will say, Verily, a warner came to us, but we rejected, and said, God has not sent down anything, you are only in great error. And they will say, Had we listened or used reason, we would not be among the companions of the inferno and they will admit their transgression. Away with the companions of the inferno! Those who fear their Lord in the unseen, they have forgiveness and a great reward. And hide you your opinion or declare it publicly. He knows what is in the breasts. Could he not know he who created? And he is the subtle the aware. He it is who made the earth responsive for you, so walk in the tracts thereof and eat of his provision, and to him is the resurrection. Do you feel secure that he who is in the sky will not make the earth swallow you, for then will it shake? Or do you feel secure that he who is in the sky will not send against you a hurricane? For you will know how is my warning. And those before them rejected. Then how was my rejection? Have they not considered the birds above them in formation and clutching? There holds them only the Almighty. He sees all things. If this be he who will be a force for you to help you besides the Almighty, those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue are only in deception. If this be he who will provide for you, if he withhold his provision, the truth is they persist in scorn and aversion. Is then he who walks prone upon his face better guided, or he who walks evenly upon a straight path? Say thou, he it is who brought you into being and made for you hearing and sight and intellect. Little are you grateful. Say thou, he it is who seeded you in the earth, and to him will you be gathered. And they say, When is this promise if you be truthful? Say thou, The knowledge is but with God, and I am a clear warner. When they see it near, the faces of those who are indifferent to warning will be distressed, and it will be said, This is that for which you called. Say thou, Have you considered if God cause me and those with me to perish, or he have mercy on us? Who would grant protection to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue from a painful punishment? Say thou, He is the Almighty. We believe in Him, and in Him we place our trust. 
then will you come to know who is in obvious error. Say thou, have you considered, if your water becomes sunken, who then will bring you running water? Chapter 68 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Noon By the pen and what they write, thou art not by the grace of thy Lord possessed, and for thee is a reward unfailing, and thou art upon a tremendous tradition, and thou wilt see and they will see which of you is mad. Thy Lord knows best who strays from his way, and he knows best the rightly guided. Then obey thou not the repudiators, they would love that thou compromise, so they would compromise. Neither obey thou every despised swearer of oaths, a backbiter going about with calumny, a hinderer of good, a transgressor, one false, one relentless and ignoble, because he is one possessing wealth and children. When our proofs are recited to him, he says, the legends of former peoples, we will brand him on the snout. We will try them as we tried the companions of the garden when they swore that they would pluck its fruit in the morning and made not allowance. Then an itinerant from thy Lord moved about upon it while they slept, and in the morning it was as if harvested. Then called they to one another in the morning, Go early to your tilth if you be harvesting. So they set off, and they whispered together, A needy one will not enter it this day against your will. And they went early, upon annoyance determined. Then, when they saw it, they said, We have gone astray. Nay, we are deprived. The most moderate among them said, Said I not to you, O oh, that you did but give glory? They said, Glory be unto our Lord, we were wrongdoers. Then drew they near, blaming one another. They said, Woe is us, we transgressed all bounds. It may be that our Lord will give us in exchange better than it. In our Lord do we hope. Thus is the punishment, and the punishment of the hereafter is greater, had they but known. For those of prudent fear are gardens of bliss with their Lord. Shall we then treat the submitted as we treat the evildoers? What ails you? How judge you? If you have a decree wherein you learn that you have therein whatever you choose, or if you have oaths binding upon us, reaching to the day of resurrection, that you have whatever you decide, ask thou them which of them is guarantor for that. If they have partners, then let them bring their partners, if they be truthful. The day the dread event is uncovered, and they are invited to the submission, but they are not able their eyes will be humble, humiliation covering them. And they had been invited to the submission when they were whole. So leave thou me with those who repudiate this narrative. We will lead them by degrees without them knowing while I reprieve them. My plan is firm. If thou ask of them a reward, then are they encumbered by liability. If the unseen be theirs, then are they writing. And be thou patient for the judgment of thy Lord, and be thou not like the companion of the fish when he called. And he had been constrained, had not grace from his Lord overtaken him. He was cast on the bare tract, and he was condemned, but his Lord chose him and placed him among the righteous. 
and those who are indifferent to warning almost cause thee to slip with their eyes when they hear the remembrance, and they say, He is possessed, but it is only a remembrance for all mankind. Chapter 69 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. The Reality What is the reality? And what will convey to thee what the reality is? Thamud and Ad repudiated the calamity. Then, as for Thamud, they were destroyed by one overpowering. And as for Ad, they were destroyed by a violent wind, which he made serviceable against them seven nights and eight days without let. And thou couldst see the people therein fallen like the roots of collapsed date palms. Then seest thou any remnant of them? And there came Firaun, and those before him, and the cities thrown down through error. They opposed the messenger of their lord, and he seized them with a tightening grip. When the water had burst all bounds, we carried you in the ship, that we might make it a reminder for you, and that the heeding ear might heed it. Then, when the trumpet is blown with a single blast, and the earth and the mountains are lifted up and levelled with a single levelling, that day the inevitability will befall and the sky will be rent asunder, for it that day is weak. And the angels will be upon its sides, and eight will bear the throne of thy Lord above them that day. That day will you be presented. No secret among you will be hidden, and as for him who is given his decree in his right hand, he will say, Hear! Read my decree. I knew that I should meet my reckoning. Then is he in a pleasing life, in a high garden, the fruits whereof hang low. Eat and drink with ease for what you sent before you in days past. And as for him who is given his decree in his left hand, he will say, would that I had not been given my decree, and had not known what is my reckoning. Would that it had been the end. My wealth has not availed me. Gone from me is my authority. Take him, and fetter him, then burn him in hell. Then insert him in a chain, the length whereof is seventy cubits. He believed not in God the Tremendous, and encouraged not the feeding of the needy. So there is for him no intimate friend here this day, nor food save of Rislin, which none eat save those in error. Then do I swear by what you see and what you see not, it is the speech of a noble messenger, and not the speech of a poet, little do you believe, nor the speech of a soothsayer, little do you take heed, a successive revelation from the Lord of all mankind. And had he ascribed some sayings to us, we would have taken him with our right hand. Then would we have cut from him the iota, and not one among you could have prevented it. And it is a reminder to those of prudent fear. And we know that among you are repudiators. And it is a sorrow upon those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And it is the certain truth. So give thou glory with the name of thy Lord, the Tremendous. Chapter 70 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. One who asks, asked about the punishment to come. 
For those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, there is none to avert it. From God, owner of the means of ascent, the angels and the spirit ascend to him during a day, the measure whereof is fifty thousand years. So be thou patient with comely patience. They consider it far off, but we consider it near. The day the sky becomes like molten brass, and the mountains like wool, and no intimate friend asks of intimate friend, they will be given sight of them. The evildoer will wish, should he be ransomed from the punishment of that day by his children and his wife and his brother and his kinsmen who sheltered him and whomso is in the earth altogether, then might it deliver him. No, indeed, it is the fire of hell, removing the skins, calling him who turned and went away and gathered and hoarded. Man was created anxious. When evil touches him, distressed, and when good touches him, withholding. Save the performers of duty, those who are constant in their duty, and those in whose wealth is a due appointed for the one who asks and the one precluded and those who confirm the day of judgment, and those who are apprehensive of the punishment of their Lord. The punishment of their Lord is not that from which there is safety. And those who are custodians of their modesty, save with their spouses or what their right hands possess, then are they not censured? But whoso seeks beyond that, these are the transgressors and those who are compliant with their oaths and their pledge, and those who are upright in their witness, and those who keep to their duty, these are in gardens honoured. Then what ails those who are indifferent to warning that they strain forward before thee on the right and on the left in associated groups? Does every man among them hope to be made to enter the garden of bliss? No, indeed. We created them from what they know. Then do I swear by the Lord of the Easts and the Wests that we are able to change them for better than them, and we will not be outdone. So leave thou them to jest and play until they meet their day which they are promised. The day they will come forth from the graves in haste as though pushing towards an idol. Their eyes will be humble, disgrace covering them. That is the day they were promised. Chapter 71 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. We sent Nuh to his people. Warn thou thy people before a painful punishment come to them. He said, O my people, I am a clear warner to you. Serve God and be in prudent fear of him and obey me. He will forgive you some of your transgressions and delay you to a named term. The term of God, when it comes, cannot be delayed, if you but knew. He said, My Lord, I invited my people night and day, but my calling increased them not save in flight. And whenever I called them that thou shouldst forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears and covered themselves with their garments and persisted and were proudly insolent. Then called I to them openly, then I proclaimed to them, and I spoke secretly to them, and I said, Seek forgiveness of your Lord, he is forgiving, he will send the sky upon you in torrents, and will supply you with wealth and sons, and make for you gardens, and make for you rivers. What ails you that you look not for majesty in God? 
when he has created you in stages. Have you not considered how God created seven heavens in layers and made the moon a light therein and made the sun a torch? And God has caused you to grow as a growth from the earth. Then he will return you to it and he will bring you forth anew. And God made for you the earth an expanse, that you might travel the broad ways thereof. Nuh said, My Lord, they have opposed me and followed one whose wealth and children have increased him not save in loss. And they schemed a mighty scheme. And they said, You are not to leave your gods. You are not to leave Wad or Suwa or Yaruth, and Ya'uq, and Nasr, and have led many astray, and increase thou not the wrongdoers, save in error. Because of their errors they were drowned, and made to enter a fire, and found for them no helpers besides God. And Nuh said, My Lord, leave thou not upon the earth an inhabitant among those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. If thou leave them, they will lead thy servants astray and beget not save as licentious ingrates. My Lord, forgive thou me and my parents and him who enters my household a believer and the believing men and the believing women, and increase thou not the wrongdoers, save in ruin. Chapter 72 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Say thou, I am instructed, that a band among the jinn listened in, and they said, We have heard an amazing recitation, guiding to sound judgment, We believe in it and ascribe not a partnership with our Lord to anyone. And that, exalted be the majesty of our Lord, he has taken neither wife nor son. And that, our foolish one ascribed a wanton falsehood to God. And that, we had supposed that men and jinn would not ascribe a lie to God. And that men among mankind sought protection with men among jinn, so they increased them in baseness. And that they supposed, as you supposed, that God would not raise anyone. And that we reached for the sky, but found it filled with strong guards and flames. And that... We sat in the auditorium thereof, but whoso listens in now finds for him a flame sentinel. And that we know not whether evil is intended for him who is in the earth, or whether their Lord intends sound judgment for them. And that among us are those righteous, and among us are those other than that. We are of diverse paths, and that we know that we cannot escape God in the earth, nor can we escape him through flight, and that when we heard the guidance we believed in it, and whoso believes in his Lord he fears neither loss nor baseness, and that among us are the submitted and among us are the unjust. And whoso submits, these aspire to sound judgment, and as for the unjust, they are firewood for hell. And had they but been upright upon the path, we would have given them water to drink in abundance, that we might subject them to means of denial thereby. But whoso turns away from the remembrance of his Lord, he will thrust him into a punishment most severe. And that the places of worship belong to God, so call not to anyone with God. 
and that when the servant of God stood up calling to him, they were almost a compact mass about him. Say thou, I but call to my Lord, and ascribe not a partnership with him to any one. Say thou, I have no power over you for harm or for sound judgment. Say thou, None can grant me protection from God, and I can find no place of refuge besides him, save communication of God and his messages. And whoso opposes God and his messenger, his is the fire of hell, they abiding eternally therein for ever. When they have seen what they are promised, then will they know who is weaker in helper and less in number. Say thou, for all I know, that which you are promised is near. If my Lord will make for it a span, the knower of the unseen, he makes not manifest his unseen to any one, save whom he has appointed among messengers. And that he places before him and after him a sentinel, that he might know that they have conveyed the messages of their Lord, and he encompasses what is with them and keeps count of everything by number. Chapter 73 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O thou enwrapped one, arise thou the night, save a little, a half thereof, or take thou a little therefrom, or add thou thereto, and recite thou the Qur'an in slow, distinct stages. We will cast upon thee a burdensome word, the emergence of the night. It is firmer of foot and more upright of speech. Thou hast by day much movement, but remember thou the name of thy Lord and devote thyself completely to him, the Lord of the East and the West. There is no God save he, so take thou him as a guardian. And be thou patient over what they say, and depart thou from them with a comely leave-taking, and leave thou me with the repudiators, the possessors of ease, and bear thou with them a little while. With us are shackles, and a raging fire, and a food that chokes, and a painful punishment, the day the earth and the mountains are shaken, and the mountains are a sliding sand hill. We have sent to you a messenger as a witness against you, as we sent a messenger to Firaun, and Firaun opposed the messenger. Then we seized him with a calamitous grip. So how will you be in prudent fear if you deny of a day which will make the children white-haired, wherein the sky will crack open. His promise will be fulfilled. This is a reminder, so whoso wills might take a way to his Lord. Thy Lord knows that thou standest nearly two-thirds of the night, or a half of it, or a third of it, as does a number of those with thee. And God determines the night and the day. He knew that you could not calculate it and turned towards you. Recite what is made easy of the Qur'an. He knows that there will be some sick among you and others travelling in the earth in search of the bounty of God and others fighting for the cause of God. Recite what is made easy thereof and uphold the duty, and give the purity, and lend to God a goodly loan. And what good you send ahead of you for your souls, you will find it with God, better and more tremendous in reward. And seek forgiveness of God. God is forgiving, merciful. Chapter 74 
in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O thou one covered, arise thou, and warn thou, and magnify thou thy Lord, and purify thou thy garments, and depart thou from defilement, and show thou not favour seeking gain, and unto thy Lord be thou patient. Then when the trumpet is sounded, that, that day, will be a difficult day, for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue not easy. Leave thou me with him whom I created alone, and him I appointed wealth extended, and children present, and made ease smooth for him. Then hopes he that I should add more. No, indeed. He was obstinate towards our proofs. I will burden him with a steep ascent. He considered and determined, damned be how he determined, then damned be how he determined, then looked, then frowned and scowled, then turned away and was proud and said, This is only sorcery hand down, this is only the speech of a mortal. We will burn him in succor, and what will convey to thee what succor is? It spares not, and leaves not, it makes visible to mortal man. Above it are nineteen, and we made the companions of the fire only as angels, and we made their number only as a means of denial for those who are indifferent to warning, that those in possession of the law might be certain, and those who heed warning might increase in faith, and those in possession of the law and the believers might not doubt, and that those in whose hearts is disease, and those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue might say, What means God by this example? Thus God sends astray whom he wills, and guides whom he wills, and there knows the forces of thy Lord only he, and this is only a reminder to mortal man. No, indeed. By the moon, and the night when it retreats, and the morning when it glows, this is one of the greatest as a warning to men, unto him who wills among you to advance or to tarry. Every soul is in pledge for what it earns, save the companions of the right hand, in gardens exchanging questions about the evildoers. What brought you into Saqqar? They will say, we have not been among the performers of duty, and we have not fed the needy, and we jested with those who jest and repudiated the day of judgment until the certainty came to us and no benefit to them is the intercession of intercessors. Then what ails them that they turn away from the reminder as if they were frightened donkeys fleeing a lion? The truth is, every man among them desires that he be given writings unfolded. No, indeed. The truth is, they fear not the hereafter. No, indeed, it is a reminder. Whoso wills will remember it, and they will remember only as God wills. He is worthy of prudent fear, and worthy to forgive. Chapter 75 In the name of God the Almighty the Merciful I swear by the day of resurrection, and I swear by the self-reproaching soul. Thinks man that we will not assemble his bones? Verily, we are able to fashion his fingertips. The truth is, man intends to be unrestrained ahead of him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? 
Then when the sight is dazzled, and the moon is darkened, and sun and moon are joined, that day man will say, Whither is escape? No, indeed. There is no sanctuary. Unto thy Lord that day is the destination, the day man is informed of what he has sent before and left behind. The truth is, Man is an eyewitness against his soul, and were he to offer his excuses, ellipsis, they would not be sufficient to continue. Move thou not thy tongue with it to hasten it. Upon us is its gathering and its recitation, and when we recite it, follow thou the recitation thereof. Then upon us is its manifest fact. No, indeed. The truth is, you love the transient and leave the hereafter. Faces that day will be radiant, looking towards their Lord. And faces that day will be scowling, thinking that a crushing calamity is upon them. No, indeed. When it reaches the collarbone, and it is said, Who is a healer? And he knows that it is the departure, and the heels are dug in. Unto thy Lord that day will be the driving. He neither gave credence, nor performed the duty, but rejected and turned away, then went to his people in arrogance. Nearer to thee and nearer, then nearer to thee and nearer. Does man think that he will be left to no purpose? Has he not been a drop of seminal fluid emitted, then a clinging thing? And he created and fashioned and made of him two mates, the male and the female. Is then he not able to give life to the dead? Chapter 76 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful Has there come upon man a time he was not something remembered? We created man from a drop of mingled fluid. We will test him. We made him hearing, seeing. We guided him on the way, be he grateful or be he ungrateful. We have prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, chains and yokes and an inferno. The virtuous will drink of a cup whereof the mixture is of camphor, a spring whereof the servants of God drink. They cause it to gush forth abundantly, they fulfil the vow, and fear a day the evil of which is widespread, and give food for love of him to the needy, and the fatherless, and the prisoner. We but feed you for the countenance of God. We seek no reward or gratitude from you. We fear from our Lord a dismal, distressful day. So God will protect them from the evil of that day and cause them to meet radiance and happiness and reward them for that they had been patient with a garden and silk. Reclining therein upon raised couches, they see therein neither sun nor biting frost and the shade thereof is near above them and the fruits thereof within easy reach. And vessels of silver are moved about among them, not cups, but flagons, flagons of silver which they determined perfectly. And they are given to drink therein a cup whereof the mixture is of ginger, of a spring therein named Salsabil and their move about among them youths made eternal. When thou seest them, thou wouldst think them scattered pearls, and when thou seest, thou seest their bliss and great dominion. 
Upon them garments of finest green silk and brocade, and they adorned with bracelets of silver, and their lord slaking their thirst with a purifying drink. This is for you as reward, and your effort is appreciated. We sent down upon thee the Qur'an as a successive revelation. So be thou patient for the judgment of thy Lord, and obey thou not among them one false or an ingrate, and remember thou the name of thy Lord morning and evening, and part of the night submit thou to him, and glorify thou him in the long night. These love the transient, and leave behind them a burdensome day. We created them, and strengthened their frame, and when we will, we will change their likenesses completely. This is a reminder, so whoso wills may take a way to his Lord, and you will only as God wills. God is knowing, wise. He makes enter whom he wills into his mercy, and for the wrongdoers has he prepared a painful punishment. Chapter 77 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By those sent according to usage, the tempestuous ones are raging, and the scattering ones are scattering, and the dividing ones are dividing, and the deliverers of remembrance as justification or warning. You are but promised, it will be full. Then when the stars are put out, and when the sky is rent asunder, and when the mountains are crushed, and when the messengers are brought to the time appointed, for what day is it deferred? For the day of decision, and what will convey to thee what the day of decision is? Woe that day to the repudiators! Have we not destroyed the former peoples, then caused to follow those who came later? Thus do we with the evildoers. Woe that day to the repudiators! Have we not created you from a despised liquid and placed it in a secure lodging for a measure appointed? So we determined, and how excellent are we to determine. Woe that day to the repudiators! Have we not made the earth a container of the living and the dead, and made therein firm mountains, and given you to drink palatable water? Woe that day to the repudiators, get you to what you repudiated, get you to the threefold shadow, neither shading nor availing against the flame. It hurls sparks like logs, as if giant fiery ropes, woe that day to the repudiators, this day they do not speak speak, nor are they given leave to put forth excuses. Woe that day to the repudiators! This is the day of decision. We will gather you and the former peoples. So if you have a plan, plan against me. Woe that day to the repudiators! Those of prudent fear are among shades and springs, and such fruits as they desire. Eat and drink with ease for what you did. Thus reward we the doers of good. Woe that day to the repudiators. Eat and enjoy yourselves a little. You are evildoers. Woe that day to the repudiators! And when it is said to them, Be lowly, they are not lowly. Woe that day to the repudiators! Then in what narration after it will they believe?